All right, before I actually go over all these problems, let me give you some basic rules. Whenever you're multiplying exponents, you add. So if I have x to the 4th and x to the 6th, that's x to the 10, because 4 plus 6 is 10. Whenever I'm dividing, it's subtract. But I like the idea of are there more on top or are there more on bottom. And here's what I mean by that. For x to the 6th and x to the 4th, since it's divide, you can subtract. Or 6 minus 4 is 2. That feels right. But then if you did this one, you would get 4 minus 6, which is a negative number, and you can't have negative exponents. So it's just a lot easier to go. Are there more on top or bottom? There are more on top by 2. Are there more on top or bottom? Bottom by 2. Now, I was speaking before about negative exponents, how you can't have them. So if they're upstairs and negative, you move them downstairs. If they're downstairs and negative, you move them upstairs. So I'll start with this one. This is a negative exponent. You can't have a negative exponent. It's up because there's an imaginary over 1. So you move it down. So it turns into 1 over 5 squared. Now the exponent's positive. 5 squared is 25. Let's go to the next one. My issue again, you can't have a negative exponent. But the problem is, is that the negative is only touching the k. It's not touching the 2. So only this goes downstairs, and the 2 is fine where it is, so it's 2 over k cubed. Now I would like to emphasize if this same problem said negative 2 k to the negative 3, negative numbers are okay, we've existed with those forever. It's just the negative exponent that would be bad. So in that case, the answer would be negative 2 over k cubed. Okay, so keep that in mind. Next problem, they're both down, 5's fine, B needs to go up. Once it goes up, it's positive. And I can put the 1, but 1 times anything is itself, so I'm good to go. All right, number 5, the y to the 5th, good. Anything to the 0 power is 1, so I don't really need to write the 1. But when it's negative and up, I need to put it down. Well, since I'm putting it down, I do have to put that 1 there, otherwise I can't show anything. Okay, done. This one, negative on top, bottom. Negative on bottom, top. Then I see actually 10 does divide by 2, and it divides 5 times. And I have to keep the negative. So negative 5, the P went on top, and the Q went on bottom. Okay? You can do those. Those are just multiplying. But here's the thing. I have two things. I have to give the squared to the 5 and the squared to the X. So it's 5 squared x squared, which is 25x squared. Done. Okay? In this case, I multiply because it's parentheses. There's 1b there. Now I have 11. Okay. This one is just like this one. I give the cube to the negative 3, and I give the cube to the w, but it has a 5 already. So now it's really negative 3 cubed. Whenever I have a negative, I put it in parentheses. And 5 times 3 is 15. Negative 3 cubed is negative 3, negative 3, negative 3, which is negative 27, W15. Okay? Number 12. Take care of this. Give, give. 8x to the 15th. Take care of this. Give, give. 9x to the 9th. Now, just like you would normally multiply 8 times 9, it's 72. But this chapter is exponents, so it's the exponents that when you multiply, it really means you add. So that's going to be x to the 24th. Okay? 3 to the 7th, that's ridiculous to find. But I also have 3 to the 5th. So that really means I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Are there more on top or bottom? Top by 2. But you would have known that because you could see that. 3 squared is 9. Now when it's a fraction, don't freak out. Give the squared to the top. Give the squared to the bottom. In your app. All right, here's the problem. This whole thing is negative. Since the whole thing is negative, this whole thing's got to flip. But once it flips, then it turns positive. Now here's one big y, but there's two, there's a three, and an x. So it's y to the tenth. Three squared is nine x squared. Let me say that again. You only give as many bigs that there are. One, two, three bigs. This little is with this big, so when those littles multiply, that's how you get it. All right, let's look here. More a's on top or bottom, top by two. 
more bees on top or bottom? Bottom by one. I'm too lazy to put the one, so I'm done. Okay, how many bigs? One, two, three. How many times do I give? One, two, three. Now, this feels right, and I'm going to do it this way, okay? 3 cubed, a to the 6th, a to the 12th. 3 cubed is 27, more a's on top or bottom, bottom by 6. But I want to show you what I would have done. It's not given and given. I would have ignored that, and I would have just gone straight here and simplified. More a's on top or bottom, bottom by 2. Then I would have cubed it and gotten 27 a to the sixth. It doesn't matter what you do, but when you look here, I mean, look at this. We've got negatives. We've got so much going on that honestly, I don't even want to look there. I want to take care of this first. So 20 divided by negative 2 is negative 10. More x's on top or bottom, bottom by 1. More y's on top or bottom, bottom by 1. Now is to the negative second power. Well, when it's negative, I flip it. Now it's positive. I have three bigs, give it three times, x squared, y squared, over 100, okay? Standard form, standard form just means highest exponent to lowest exponent, to no exponent at all. Highest exponent, not highest coefficient, no, highest exponent, and then you see the answer there.